Hey guys, it's me, Sarah Beth 523 and uh, this week we were doing celebrity-inspired looks. So I, ch I didn't choose. You guys kind of chose it for me. Three people chose Eva Mendes, so I thought I would knock that one out, and uh, maybe I'll try a few of the other ones later. But this is half of um, what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to talk you guys through the other half. Um, so I'll try to do it as quick as I can because I know my videos have been running long lately. Let's get started. So the first thing that you should do is define your brows. Eva Mendes has these gorgeous, gorgeous eyebrows that just like really, really shape her face. And so I'm going to... You guys are like spot on with that, by the way, because I'm horrible at defining brows. So um, this was quite the challenge, but I'm going to try to recreate it here right now. Her eyebrows, I'm looking at her photo down there, are really, really, like they start really in the middle. Um, that's like really bad English, guys. I'm sorry. But um, let me go ahead and just shape them up here. They, they're really close, is what I meant to say. And that's what really like brings your eyes back to her nose and her whole face shape it's because of the way they're shaped. I'm going to get better at this talking you guys through tutorials. But anyway, so then... As you go across, and I am going to fix this. I know it looks weird, but they actually start really low, too, and they're very angular right here. Yeah, girl. And um, as you go across the brow, they get wider at her arch, so they really come up, and they have that really sharp, angular look there again, too. Eva Mendes brows. And then I'm just going to, like, kind of set this. I know I didn't use a pencil, but I am trying to do it fast because these boys are anxious. Of course, you can perfect this on your own. Um, yeah. Goober. But, okay. So there, one brow down. Okay. So the next thing that I did was I took um a really white color. I used the color that was in here. And in the inner corner, but as I bring it up, I left just slightly right there because we're going to go back in with some browns and bring it all the way up. And um, just take that and put that right all the way up over and in. Um, and then up here, I took a cream shadow. I used the Revlon in um, Black Magic. This is an older quad that I have, and I just used this silver color, she uses a lot of silvers, and put that right under the lash, the lash, the brow. I'm screwing this all up, guys. So it really just gives it that arch and makes it pop. And then I went over it with that same white. Okay? Okay. So then you want to take a flat shadow brush, um... I'm pretty sure this is eyeliner brush, flat eyeliner brush. And then I took this dark color right here on the quad, the number four. I always guess, I guess that's what it's called. And I um, basically winged out, let me bring this light down so I'm not getting that shadow. And I'm going to be looking at my mirror over here. Winged out. And then I went about up to where your crease starts. So if you, <laughs> I can't even do it anymore. Just go up to where your crease is. You guys know how to do outer corners. It's about a third of the way up. You just bring it across into the crease. Okay. And then I'm going to take a really bushy, this is a C brush from e.l.f. I'm going to take this soft brown right here and just use that to blend it down in light little strokes. What was that? Brandon, was that you or Ryan? I don't hear him crying, so this is okay. I think it just dropped the toy. He'll be back in a minute. <laughs> um, you can also use your, where's it at, my flat brush to kind of just get a little bit more color and really just pull it down. Okay. All right. And then, touch that baby up while I'm at it. 
And then I took another C brush, grabbed this color right here, started at the bottom and worked my way across. I mean, her eyes are really gorgeous. Gorgeous, but simple. And then, um, if you, yeah, that's pretty much it. I did. Where's that at? Sorry, guys. Okay. So, then you're going to want to take that same flat brush and bottom and just go you guys even see, is my light being silly? Let me zoom in. There you go. Going across. And you really just want to take your brush, blush, brush, and just blend it all in. Okay. Alright, so that is the eye. Let me zoom back out. She doesn't really put a whole lot on her bottom, um, which I just love that about her. But she does do just a slight little bit on the corner here. And then you can go back over and line it with a, um, I always use this Revlon Color Stay. You guys knew that was going to come out here somewhere. And then, is this any better? Is that any better? And she does like a little dramatic wing. Okay, and that's just about it. That's all that I did for the eyes, and I put a little bit of black on the bottom. And then I curled it and applied false lashes, um, which I will do and be right back. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did as far as contouring goes. Uh, just grab a small concealer brush, and I'm actually going to continue to use the browns that are in here. Um, just take this brown right here on the top, and I just tuck that in just a little bit right there, just to create that shadow that Eva Mendez has. And I brought it all the way into the nose because she gets really thin. And then she kind of widens out. So then I just brought it down that way. I'm going to blend it, but I'm just showing you guys where the lines go. And then on her nose, kind of goes down. And this part goes out. She has like a very prominent tip, which I don't have because I have a little round button nose. But you can recreate it just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is take a flat concealer brush with a little bit of powder and just pull it down until that's all blended just slightly so it looks a little bit more natural. It's not just uber huge. Your finger works just as good too. Okay, so just a little bit more to look like Eva's nose and then y'all are gonna laugh but I put a little bit of brown on the tip too because like I said she has a little V. Just a teeny tiny little V. Just... See? So that's a little bit more like her nose. Um, you also want to maybe put a little bit of highlight up underneath on the very tip and then a little bit more of your brown to give it that shadow. See? And then on her um, cheeks. She has a very square jaw. Um, mine's very, well you can see it on this side, but mine's very um, roundy right around here. So I just took that same concealer brush. I grabbed my bronzer from e.l.f. Grabbed this color right here. This is the golden bronzer from e.l.f. And I just ran it down the side of my cheek and really at that square just to accentuate the shape. 
Um, and I also took <clears throat> my blush. Sorry, I'm like freaking out. Okay, my blush and her cheek, she puts her blush really low. So I grabbed my blusher brush and put it right there and it's very straight across. There isn't really a round shape to her cheeks. It's just really right straight across. You see that? And then I'm going to take this color right here from the same golden, apply that right to the apples of my cheeks. Can I see? Yeah, you can see. Yeah. And that's just a little bit of Eva's contouring and then she has the same smile lines as me so I just put a little bit of shape there oh, if you God, want to. I want to see inside what this looks like. And put some highlight right there too just to kind of give you. I want to see what it looks like. Which one? Okay, you can see that one. And then um, I'm glad you reminded me real quick. I'm just going to throw a little bit more cream in the middle there. I think you're right. I think I gotta go change his diaper. Here you go. Okay. I said stinky. Yeah, he is a little bit stinky. So that's it, guys. That's the um, Eva Mendez look. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing for her lips. Uh, she has this really, really pretty Cupid's bow. So all I did was take a little bit of gold um, eyeshadow, and you can use the NYX jumbo pencil in gold, but it's a little darker than what I would recommend. And I just put one dot. Right there in the middle. And that just gives you that Eva Mendez pout. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So this is my, oh, and the mole. I had a hard time covering up my own mole. Um, but I put hers there, too. So, love it. Um, she's just gorgeous all around. Wow, I've really got to blend that out. And, um, that's my look. Sorry it's kind of short and brief. I can elaborate and redo some more if you need me to. But I think it turned out... You know, great. I love it. So, um, as far as my WLRR um, stuff, that video, I, I'm doing my own separate channel, so that link is down below on what's going on there, but I weighed myself in. I am at 120, which is great. That's a healthy weight for me. I love it. And um, I hope to maintain that weight. The workout I did yesterday kicked my butt, but I'm ready to do it again today. So, um, be sure to wait for that video on my channel, and once again, thank you for watching your Glam Squad, and be sure to come back tomorrow because I know that Sarah has an awesome, awesome celebrity-inspired look. And thanks for all of your requests, too. I will absolutely try to do some more of these because I just loved it. It had fun. So, bye, guys. Say bye, Brandon. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. What do you think? Ah.